greetings, Earthlings. <laughs> you have found yourselves as today's experiment. <laughs> In pain. Behold, you will be opening this fan mail. <laughs> Andrew Yang sent me a book. Is it signed? Hey, it's addressed to friend. I like Andrew, but he shilled too much for the corporation, so. I don't, to be honest, I don't read a lot of books. Uh, I read a lot of internet, but I don't, it's not that I won't read a lot of books. Ooh, goodie bags. Or hats. Oh, it's a little too tight. I don't think it's a hat, Ian. Actually, are, are they bonnets? Yes. Bonnet. Observe like their pain. Ready to go cut some stuff down? Cut some stink bugs down? Perfect! You know how to work one of these? No. No? I mean, you just whack it, right? Yeah. Yeah. Is that the best Why would you hold it like that? Trust me, I would never hit anyone, especially on camera. <laughs> so ideally, I would like to get like a log like this fat around. See, like there's down trees, which would be amazing, but we don't have a, a good chainsaw. This log will come in handy when you find one more, it's just like this. I think I just gave you the machete to look good with it. All right. just, start, just start hitting stuff, yeah. <laughs> this is how I get my aggression out. Whoa, okay, never mind. <laughs> Stink bug guy came here today, which is nice. Something like this. We're gonna screw it to, obviously, and then as you, as you go, Tips up like that, and it folds back down. We have more screws around here. If I were screws, where would I be in this building? Oh wait, nobody's organized in here, so finding screws is gonna be impossible. Wait, wait, look. I found one screw. We would be able to make this teeter-totter for Allison with, no, I found two screws. We might be able to make it with two screws. And a nail. No, no, three screws. I think we can make the whole thing with three screws, guys. This is gonna be how to make a tigger totter with three screws. This is not your perfect how to build a teeter totter. This is me just building something simple for Allison so that when we go, she's not crazy intimidated by what's at Bryce. She said that she was like, oh my God, I saw these wooden features. They look so, so much fun, but I'm really scared to do them. I said, that's all gonna change because we're gonna build you something where you're not gonna be scared. Let me go grab my bike. Right over. Oh, it's still alive, it's still alive. Do we have a bottle cap so I can give it water? Well, we need to get, we need to go to the grocery store and get it like kin formula or goat milk or something. Well, we have goat cheese. Do you think it works the same way? <laughs> Uncle will name you Squeakers. But yeah, do we have any like water caps? Do they even drink water? So I decided to name the baby Squeakers because it's a little squeaky baby. See, you made a little squeak. the first test of Allison's teeter-totter, BMX version. The key to this though is just speed. If you go too slow, you need to get to the peak. And if you get to the peak... So I'm just, you know, full force I got. I wouldn't full force. But if you get to the peak with a decent amount of speed... Your weight will carry it and make it tip down. Oh, I don't like this, I don't like this. So ah! close. Oh, really hey. close. Uh, oh, leg muscles. Come on, let's go. So this is all scrap wood we have underneath the deck now. Like I was saying, you can build this at home. And the ones that don't taper in as quick, we're gonna cut them down all the way down here. Screw these to the two by twos and then I'm probably gonna build a slight incline here so that Allison can ride up onto it versus like run into it or bunny hop onto it. That's the headphones? Yeah, that's just the headphones. Uh, it's insanely loud. Check one, two. 
You hear that? Now there's... Oh, cool. a slight hiss. Um, Ray, I have a question. Okay, stop, stop. Yes. I think that's not room. I think that's... Um, in the system. It's game. It's like picking up background noise. Check one, two, one, two. One, two. All these can stream um, 4K 422 format. But so, I don't know if a computer or I think it could. Well, I was like, we don't need 4K. We tried it. The cameras get too hot and then shut off. Uh, oh, yeah. wow. That's yeah. good. So, so the cameras have been out. Oh, yeah. I mean, they can, but it's like they just don't see it. They have fans in them, but then you're like working them to the. Yeah. Water food cameras. Yeah. That's the next project. <laughs> <laughs> this studio is just going to be cleaner. And the most important thing is. All the cables being laid out individually so that we can remove them one by one. We're gonna do one monitor screen, maybe like right up here. So people can look up and see it from wherever they're sitting. And then we can just take a TV from somewhere, like not a big one. Yeah. Do you wanna do one across like that? TVs? One, one right there because we have to do two TVs, two of us as opposed to one. Okay. Lydia can already see it on her screen. Mm -hmm. Then everyone who's sitting down can just look either forward or to the left and see the screen as well. I had like eight hours of writer's block and then I had like 10 seconds of like, it all came to me. I ran into the vocal booth and tracked like 12 acapella tracks, just like, you know, boom, 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 ba -dum, ba -dum, and I was like, ba, 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 ba. Anyway, it actually sounded pretty cool acapella, so I recorded everything like that. I'll just show you what I got so far. So yeah, I'm, I'm trying to figure out how to get that panic at the disco y sound mixed with the Gatsby soundtrack. I think it's gonna happen. I think it's gonna happen. down some screws on it. We are looking good as far as completion. We need to put something on the end, on both these ends, I'm assuming. Probably just that end so she can ride up. Because I think as she gets better at balance, she'll ride off the sides and then she'll get comfortable just riding off completely. Oh, uh, Tim might be recording a video. We shouldn't be too loud. Well, you're just going if, if the video tomorrow comes out and I'm fired, he was recording the video. Uh, it's right now 2.13. We should be good. God, women, don't shut up. You, you heard it here first, folks. She said it, not me. If you just lift up, you know what? I plan on going on a mountain bike ride on Friday to Bryce, correct? Yep. And they have like different wooden features that you've been slightly intimidated by. So we got two slightly. Of, <laughs> well, we got two of the easiest I ones touch here. <laughs> well, you'll, you'll ride these. I built I'll you a teeter totter. Things. All right. And I built you a tapering plank, so it just oh, very cool. tapers in. You'll be able to ride up that ramp. Awesome. To be able to get a good idea I'm and uh, ride off into the grass. Oh, it's not bad. Yeah. Sarah did it on my bike. Okay. I mean, she's a roller skater. <laughs> yeah. I think she rides dirt bikes too. <laughs> True. But this is as oh, basic sweet. as it comes when it this comes awesome. to like learning the balance skill levels and we can build anything you want here. Cool. Ride Bryce and get better ideas. Yeah. If you prefer this ramp not to be on here, I can unscrew that. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so walk on. I have to balance on this. Yeah. <laughs> With the bike. Yep. And then you'll feel tip right here. Doop. Oh, I bet I can. Absolutely. We're going to the gun store! So, whoa, 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 what is that? Geese. It's telling me how to drive. Oh. Uh, what are these? 
Oh, oh, the crows. Anyway, we're going to the gun store because for one, it's fun. For two, it's our right to own guns. And three, I got some suppressors shipped out a while ago and I need to fill out a ridiculous amount of paperwork because they're called NFA items. And I've been putting it off because I've been too busy. So uh, we're gonna go uh, look at guns. Ooh. What's this? Uh, weird looking one. Coleco M100S. Do you want to get this? Yeah. 22LR. Wow. Look at this. Cool. Man, whenever I come in here, I'm like, I want it. I kind of want this. $2. Yeah. How do you load it? So when you take it, latch on both sides, hit it. It's a helical mag. So you look, you can kind of see the spirals in it. Oh, yeah. How much, how much did that hold? This is a 100 round mag. So you just drop each round in whenever you're done. Okay, so this is not Maryland friendly. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Well, they don't know when you hurt them. Put 100 rounds in. Alright, once then you have, twist it up. Once you have the 100 rounds in, you sit here, give it you know, 8 or 9 rolls, and you'll feel it start to tighten. Once you have it wound up, pop it in, it's chamber. Go ahead and start shooting. Whenever you get done and you're empty, take it off. Take that, to to take all the excess spring tension off, then you can reload it. That's right. a unique piece. I'll take it. Is there any historical context to this type of? Because I've never seen something like this. Not before. really. It's one of those. Uh, Star Wars was really cool in everybody's mind, so they wanted to make a uh, Boba Fett gun, and they did the 22s in all wood, and then they also make a 9 mil. But majority of the 9 mils come in synthetic. So if you buy it legally and you live in West Virginia, you can take it pretty much anywhere and shoot it. There's nothing they can say to you because you're not a Maryland resident. Bam. Banned in Maryland. I'm sorry, what was that? Is that the sick piece? Uh, uh, Banned in Maryland. 365? Yeah. Yes. Banned. I would also get... So when they say, no one's trying to stop you from buying guns, no one's allowing... I'm in West Virginia where there's a legal gun I can't bring to Maryland. Literally, it's like five minutes down the road. Because we've got the production facility and then we've got our house. So, I'll take it. I was not going to bring it to Maryland. Just keep it in West Virginia, my West house in West Virginia. I would also take it to P365. Tim, you can take it to Maryland and shoot it. Like I said, you bought it legally in your state of residence. You can take it to a range and shoot it. It's banned out right in Maryland. You can't as a resident. No, 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 you can't possess it. As a Maryland resident? No, 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 that's not what it's about. What's it say? I mean, it's a list of banned weapons that you can't bring. So I'll tell you, if you want the the tactical longer barrel and trap shooting, that kind of thing, look more into the Nelly Beachy. This is what you need here. You've got three different copies. You've got to have one for each suppressor. Got to fill all of this out. Yes. Make sure you get at least four copies of your passport photos for each form. Well, for each suppressor that you got to do. So get twelve copies of passport. This is how free you are in America, everyone. And then you need. All of this uh, for three suppressors. And you're gonna need three Look at these packets. Cards. Might as well get a machine gun while we're here, okay? So let's 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 see. Can you guys give uh, give our camera our, our friends some basic understanding? What does a suppressor do for me? Protect your ears. Yeah. Yeah. Essentially, it's sound mitigation. It's uh, it's more of a safety procedure than anything else. It's for I mean, your it, health. Does yeah. it make the gun go pew pew pew? No, that's how we No, go. really? Well, then I don't want them. <laughs> I'm kidding. Uh, so, uh, are there any other benefits to having a suppressor? Do they do more than just reduce sound? No. Nope. That's, that's it? it? That's it. <laughs> Recoil? Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, even no. then. You gotta run subsonic to do it anyway, so you're running less gas pressure out of that round, so it's gonna give you a little bit less recoil. So why would you want to suppress the sound? Honestly, it's hearing pro. That's really all it is. You feel like you're defending your home? and you're in like a small room and you're gonna fire a weapon, it's better to have a suppressor safer for everybody? Pretty much, but it's more of a, I wanna go out to the range and not kill everybody else's eardrums because I'm using this high caliber round that's extremely loud. And this is what you need for it? Yeah, firing indoors, yeah, the protecting phone, your house definitely. They really want to make sure that the people don't buy information. Yeah. That's what they do, they don't want to they defend your I'm trying to find a way to monitor all the vital statistics of the computer while it's running um, just on the desktop. Normally this is like a gaming tool, but 
I have to figure out why it's not actually working with the hotkey for some reason. Um, we finally got all the bubbles out. Just so it has a and we let it get up to temperature. It stressed it for like eight hours straight. So all the water expanded, and then we opened up the, the bleed valve at the top, and they closed it. So whenever it cools down to room temperature, it's going to contract. It's going to make suction. So hopefully we shouldn't have any leaks. Like I'm more worried about pressure than suction. Yeah, I was really, but that's happened to me before. I've walked out and my I car was out, out of the parking spot. I'm calling that baby mouse a baby now. Don't worry, it's not. It's precious. It's so tiny, and I'm assuming it's a boy. So we're gonna name it Squeaker. Ew! I hate when they do that. They used to do that when I was in high school. I was like, please don't. Why don't let them go up your nose? That's the worst. Oh, it moved a little bit. <laughs> the babes, I can't believe he's like Hi. actually alive. <laughs> I hope you like that. It's like nice and moist for you. Do you think it's dangerous to touch it? I have like to look it up. Because like it's pretty dangerous. Whoa. Because I don't want to affect. <gasps> Hi, little baby. He's probably so fragile, like. I'd be scared to like squash when I see it. It's so ridiculous if you have a comma in the wrong spot on those forms, they send it back to us and we can redo it. It's uh -huh. ridiculous. Uh, yeah, I got a stack of papers that are insane. I don't got time to fill this stuff out, but I guess I have no choice. But while I was here, I knew this was going to happen. I came in, I saw the Coleco M100S. 100 round 22 LR. This looks too awesome. Had to get it. Had to buy it. We're gonna be doing like action sports stuff. So what we really want to do is have like someone on a BMX jump like a mega ramp and then pull the gun out in midair and get actually 100 rounds. Take this to the range. It's gonna be so much fun. Is the range open here or is it hunting season? Uh, the one that right we now it's archery season. Got so, it. so there's no shooting. So you can't, there. Technically, yeah. it's open. Yeah. Um, but it's never if, really. If but you, if people are bow hunting there, you don't want to be shooting off guns and, and no, destroying so their hunts. It's kind of a yeah, respectful oh, nature. Right, uh, yeah. Don't go out there blasting off rounds while someone's trying to hunt. But we also have that range a couple hours before. That's a long way. Yep. I can just walk out the door with it like this. I can sit in the car with it. It's West Virginia. A little blue state, you can't do any of that. But is there a box for it? Uh, no. But it's funny because there was a mouse nest. Laying, oh, mouse. Mouse. There, there were mice laying eggs in my trunk. Mice. Yeah. Right. Look. I saw. You mice want to bother it? Here, let me see if I can get a light. Man, wait, I should keep the snake in my trunk. All right. Yeah. Let's before it gets completely dark. Let's yeah, because it's looks like I solved the mouse problem. The, oh. Maybe that's why there was no mother mouse yeah, or sibling mice. No, I picked it up out of my trunk. Oh yeah, that's a perfect jar. Good luck with that. Did you see it? Oh yeah, it's it's a rattle. Um, don't keep watching. I didn't hear it, but wait, it's in there. Yeah, uh, I think crouching box. inside that tiny box. Uh, yeah, I, I went down so. by simple nature of uh, the fact that right there is a don't tread on me flag. Yeah, it's like how oh, would they know you put that? So obviously, some sellers got. Oh shit. Okay, no, maybe it's a. It's a garden snake. It's a rat snake. Oh, yeah. it's a rat snake. Oh, yeah. Well, let's oh, put it back. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it was uh, mysterious looking in some really, you know? Yeah, if he's not poisonous, <laughs> I should have just picked it up. Wait, are we sure? Did you just leave him in the... Well, that's a lot of energy. Some, you heard, Allison, once again, out you heard the rattling, everybody right? here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, he was probably just moving his tail. Being much... <laughs> and much less... It could be no. like a... Yeah, okay, yeah, it's a rat snake. It's a rat snake. I feel much better knowing that... I didn't almost car. die digging through my yeah. trunk. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Between the mouse and the snake, you're basically Dr. Doolittle. Oh, I just have a whole ecosystem in my car. Suffocating in there, so we should be Actually, this should be. Sna snakes job. don't breathe there. He's got snake. Oh, these currents. Yeah. He's a lot bigger than. Think. Gosh, he really was. Apparently, very scary. Oh, it's my lug nut box. Agile yeah. in there. I didn't think uh, if it yeah, was I a rattlesnake. I think he's down relaxing. Definitely would have gotten like, confused. Oh wait, look at his jaw. He might be poisonous. He's got that yeah, wide. Well, how can you tell? Wide no, jaw. really, he does look like. Well, the poisonous More. ones have a lot of kind of mean. Jaw muscle because they want to clamp on you. No, no, they have glands. Yeah, they have that poison too. glands. Aww. And so they're wide. They have these wide the cheeks term in the back. Is, I mean, toxic. Uh, I would not I test it. I mean, I don't, don't open it towards your face or anything. Poke <laughs> some holes in you if you're gonna leave them there. 
poke holes in the snake? 